Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial on API Godo. This is Asif Khan. Today we are going to dive into the world of Django security with a focus of Django Access. A Django Access is a powerful tool for safeguarding your Django web application against brute force attack. In this tutorial we will explore how to set up and configure and use Django Access to enhance the security of your Django project. But before we get started, let me give you an overview of what we will be covering in this tutorial. Before we begin, you will need to have a basic understanding of Django and have a Django project already set up. If you are new to Django, I recommend checking out some beginner tutorial to get familiar with the framework. Let's get started by installing Django Access. Open your terminal, open your terminal and type pip install Django Access. And hit the enter button so my requirement is already satisfied because already i have installed this package this is library so first of all what we have to do we have to just go to the setting.py file and we have to just add access in install app inside the install app we have to just add the access okay and after that in our middleware section in a middleware section we have to just add our access dot middleware dot action middleware and this okay and Django contrib dot out middleware authentication middleware. So don't worry about this this code. I will just provide you on a GitHub. Already I have just uh, uploaded there in a GitHub, so you will get their link. And after that, what we have to do? We have just default auto field. Django dot models dot big auto fields. Access failures. Mean when anybody try uh, login attempts and after three attempts they will be you know i have just said here three attempts login attempts okay and one log out the user for one minute i have just said here time that if anybody try and if anybody has been uh, the account has been logged out for uh, so there is a, a specific time for one minute they will be logged out so as per your requirement you can increase the timing and you can just uh, increase the login attempts okay and i have just added the authentication backend backend access dot backend dot uh, backends dot access backend you can keep this one and access lockout template so already i have just created a custom dot custom lockout dot html so this is the path this is the template fast after lockout of the logout user will be redire redirect in this template okay the user will be redirect on this template so what i will do i'll just start the server by typing this command python manage dot python manage dot py run server so guys if you haven't created a super user so go and just create to create a super user i'm just going to tell you a, one more command uh, python manage dot py create super user so if you have to choose this you have to just give asi i'll just skip the email asi f asi f just why guys if you have uh, by installing this django access what you have to do you have to just migrate so you have to just uh, run the migration for that python manage dot py in aka in rg migrations no change to python and is py in aka and i my guess sorry and hit enter why there is no changes because now why there is no changes in the migration because already have just migrated in the database and now i'll just run the server py Run server. I'll just navigate to the disk. Follow the link. So you can see that I have a custom welcome pages for this. So I'll just navigate to the admin page. And what I will do, I will just use another password. I'll use another password. So guys, you know, account logged out. Yo account has been temporarily logged out due to multiple failed login attempts so this i have just created a log i have just created a custom logout page you can see i have just created a custom logout page you can see 
this is the way to create a custom login pages and you have to just give a path to your logo.html and I have just saved a time that three times I'll just increase the time limit I'll just do the five time let's go and do the zero now I'll refresh it after that I'll just increase the time two minutes the logout the user for two minutes okay and I'll just refresh it and I'll refresh it and I'll just try wrong password for five time one two three so guys you can see that account logged your account has been temporarily logged due to multiple failed login attempts and it's saying to please contact our support team or assistance so now to verify that who is attacking to your login pages i will do uh, i will just uh, so make sure that you have created a super user so for that i will just go to the for new incognito window i'll just create and i'll just copy this i'll just copy this and paste it over here and i will just what i will do i will just log in with the correct username and password so you can see that access you can see that access attempts access failure access logs so now what if i just say access attempts there is no access access failure access logs so there is a two IP address access logs you can see that user IP address so guys this is not uh, this uh, web application is not uh, deployed this is running on a local host so you can see that you can just access the log for Asif you know the Asif username you can see so what I will do I'll just go to you know logout paste and what I will do I'll just Again, I'll log in. I will just do log out from here because I want to check. First of all, I'll just let's check that there is a zero timing. I'll just set a one time and just set a limit to three. That if anybody try from the limit login attempt for three, if any user try a login attempt for three times they will be their account will be logged out and we can see that in admin panel whose account is locked or not what I'll do I'll just use a uh, wrong password one two and three that my account is locked now so to to take uh, to get access from that whose uh, whose account is logged so just what we will do i will just we will do in an account page we will just go on and i'll just refresh this in admin banner so you can see the access failure access log and access attempt so in access attempts we can see that who whose username who is just accessing to my this so you can see that username asif and the fail attempt three you can see that all each and everything and you can also see the IP addresses so guys this is how you can just use your Django access to protect from brute force attacks thank you for watching